so the idea is uh, pretty straightforward. You put the item that you want to scan on a stage. Um, you start the stage, it's going to rotate at a certain rate of speed. And then in the, uh, on the iPad, you're going to initiate a capture process. Um, and what's going to happen is that the app is going to record a series of photographs as this item rotates on the stage, and that process simulates the camera and the iPad making a perfect circle around the object, sort of the same idea. And then after it's done capturing the photographs, it compresses them and it puts them in a representation that allows you to edit them and then eventually share um, over the internet. So the capture, like I said, is 20 seconds followed by about 30 seconds of analysis and compression. Uh, so now it's finished uh, processing and now you have a spin. So we just recorded a spin of this apple. And uh, another nice thing about this technology is it allows you to edit. So for example, let's uh, adjust the crop rectangle to sort of create something. Let's adjust uh, the black point maybe, make it a little darker, adjust the white point. Uh, maybe change the brightness a bit, the contrast, adjust the saturation. And once you're happy with the way it looks, um, you can go on to publish it. Another new feature that we announced this week is the ability to add labels. And so the way this works is as follows. So imagine uh, this doesn't really have obvious things to label, but let's try to this point here. Um, so this is an apple, so we'll call this a blemish. Some little spot on the apple. And our algorithm attempts to determine the path of travel of that point. It doesn't always get it right, so sometimes you have to correct that. And the technique will refine the information. And finally, you'll have a 3D label, or you, in other words, you'll have labeled a 3D point. And it will fade away when it's not visible and it'll show back up. So it's a way of annotating 3D objects and creating this type of interactive media. And then finally, when you're ready, uh, you can share it and you upload the spin to our servers. It happens that fast. And then you can share it on Twitter, email, Facebook, or go to the page.